Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. Just thought I would do a look see here at Groupon. Groupon has earnings out tonight, and I don't know what this is going to do. It's going to gap, I can tell you that. Uh, I don't know which way it's going to gap. So I'm hoping that it gaps down. <laughs> of course I am, because I like to trade gap down. So if Groupon gaps down, it's a good short. I have to see exactly where, um, anywhere in the vicinity of anywhere, the target will be $6. So I hope that this gaps down. If it does, I'll be looking at it as a top watch tomorrow. That being said, if Groupon gaps up, it's not a good buy, unless it gaps up like a million dollars. So here's the thing. I really hope this gaps down. If it does, I'm going to look to short it to trade. But with Facebook earnings that just came out, um, I have a feeling this is not going to cooperate. I have a feeling it's going to gap up and be a stinky gap up and... I don't do um, gap ups personally. I do call the good ones in the room, but this isn't going to be a good one if it gaps up. So FYI, um, my gut instinct is this is probably going to gap up because of everything that's going on with Facebook. But I think that um, it's not going to be a good one. And in fact, I know it's not. So it's not a good buy. It's not a good buy if it gaps up unless it gaps up like a million dollars. And uh, I hope this gaps down. It'd be a great setup for me if it does. It'd be great to play out. It's just I have a feeling it's not going to do it. I could be wrong. I, I hope that it does gap down so I can short it tomorrow. Um, really would like to do that. Been playing this many, many times. Always uh, pays me well, this little group on guy. For a rinky dinker, always has beautiful, beautiful patterns. And the numbers are always just so clear. Uh, even even right now, it's so clear that the target on this is $6. So if it gaps down, unless it gaps right to $6. But I don't know what it's going to do until the earnings come out. You know, after 4 o'clock, we'll have to see. I hope this gaps down for me to trade it. I have a feeling it's not going to. I have a feeling it's going to gap up, and it's not a buy. So, you know, we'll see what happens with this. This is a Groupon earnings watch, you know. I will be doing it and watching it if it gaps down. I think it may not happen, though, to my liking. So we'll have to see. I hope in this instance it cooperates and does what it's supposed to do, but you never know. So every once in a blue moon, you get a guy like this. You love it. You love it. You love it. And then it does something in the opposite direction, but it's not good. So then you can't do anything with it. Remember, not every gap is playable. Just because something gaps up doesn't mean it's a good long. Just something because... Just because something gaps down doesn't mean it's a good short. Sometimes gaps are nothing gaps. And if Groupon gaps up tomorrow or tonight, it's a nothing gap to play tomorrow morning unless it gaps a million miles away. And I'm not going to sit here and figure that out tonight but because uh, I, don't, I don't even think it's going to happen. I have a feeling it's going to gap up and be a stinky bullish gap and then there's nothing to do with it. However, it's a good short if it gaps down. So I'll be watching it. So this is a Groupon earnings watch for tonight, August 7th. Top watch if it gaps down. However, I have no idea if it's going to do it. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Have a great night, everybody.